Louise Fletcher and I help artists to find their own creative voice. Today I want to talk to you about breakthroughs, how we have them, what they look like and what we need to do with them. I have wanted for a long time to get more rawness, more roughness, more energy, more emotion into my work. I've wanted to unpretty things up. I've wanted to make things that were a little bit ugly. And I've edged my way there and I've pulled my way back and I've never quite made it. And the other day it came to me in a blinding flash like an angel came down. And the blinding flash said, if you want to make raw and rough and somewhat ugly work, you need to go do some raw and rough, somewhat ugly painting. Now that might sound so obvious, but any artists listening, you know it's not as easy as that. You know that we hedge around these things. We might want to make our portraits a little bit looser or our florals a little bit more abstract, but we daren't do it. We find ourselves perfecting again because it's too scary to do the thing. And yet what I realized is the scariness doesn't actually hurt, doesn't kill me. And if I just go do it, I'm already over that bridge. Now, personally, I find it impossible to take a lovely big canvas or a wooden panel or even an expensive piece of paper and take my risks on that because it feels somehow there's just something in me which says, no, do not do that that is too dangerous. But what I find helpful or have found helpful in the last few days is big sheets of paper. This is very fairly cheap paper that came on a roll. It's only, I think, 140 GSM. I do not know the make, I'm afraid, because I've had it a long time. I can't share that with you, but it's basic drawing paper on a roll. So it's not gonna take layers and layers of paint, but that's okay because what I'm doing is tearing off big pieces of it and making big, bold, raw, passionate marks the way I wanted to. And I'm doing that on sheet after sheet after sheet. And I've forgotten about making paintings. Now, this is something I always teach in my course that the desire for a result is what gets in the way. But I'm taking it even a step further in that I'm not even using something that would be possible to sell. So my brain can't get caught up in trying to make it pretty because it would never be any good anyway. The paper's all buckled, it's torn in a few places. So there's no pressure, I can't do this well. I can't do it in a way that I could impress anyone so I can stop trying. And instead I can fully immerse myself in finding out just how ugly I can make things, just how rough I can get, just how raw, because then I can pull it back again at some point in the future when I've learned tons about what it is I'm trying to do, I can start pulling it back into whatever degree I want to. So this is actually coming up as a masterclass in my Art Tribe community. So if you're a member, you can look forward to watching me explore these ideas in lots of different ways. If you're not a member, you can join for one month without paying anything, which means you can take this whole class that I'm creating for free. The link is in the description. If you cannot find it, you can also go to my website. I think it's the bridge from where you have been to where you want to go. And I'm excited just to show you the amount of ugliness and craziness that I can create with a paintbrush. But if what you want to create is beauty or accuracy or detail, that is fine too. This, this idea that I'm sharing in this class and that I'm sharing now in this video is applicable to everyone. If you want to do the thing, you must go do the thing and you must be prepared that you might be doing the thing for a while with no discernible results. You must be prepared to try doing the thing in multiple different ways. Let yourself inspire yourself. Let yourself get energized by possibility rather than closing down possibility the minute you have one idea. Instead, have one idea and go play with it and see how many other ideas it breeds and then from there, you'll know which ideas you need to follow. At some point, it will go from experimentation into, okay, now I know what I want to follow. But I think our problem as artists can often be that we do that way too soon. We do that before we've explored what's possible. 
And the amazing thing is, now that I've got going with this, even though the, I'm not making paintings that I would want to see in galleries yet, I'm making things that excite me and that's enough to keep me going. And I'm getting comfortable with the ugliness and that's what I need because while ever I'm trying to be good and make beautiful things, I can't get to that place that I know I'm trying to get to. So that's my advice on artistic breakthroughs. I hope this helped. Do come and join us for the free month of Art Tribe. If you don't wanna join us for that, there's a free guide, which is also linked below this video. You can download on finding your own artist voice. But if you do nothing else, just go away and take this piece of advice. Get some cheap paper. Start trying to do the thing you wanna do. Don't wait another day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.